This is the day a god descends upon these foolish mortals. We will be controlling the winged dragon of Ra and using every ounce of his might to be destroying our opponents today. Will they be able to stand up to the test or will I come out with the victories throughout this video? Keep watching more to find out. Now, let's begin the duel. Starting off with the first duel of the day, let's see. I've been uh, dueling a bit before before this video because the past recordings just didn't decide. And I'm going first. This is just a. It's starting bad, but God doesn't really care what circumstances he's in. Huh, damn, if only those other recordings just recorded. Now I gotta. Yes, yeah, so that explains my rank being gold already, because I planned on recording from silver up to gold, but I'm at gold now, and I'm not just gonna forfeit a bunch of matches, so I go back down. Let's look at the starting hand of ours. Ghost girl, crystal girl, this is amazing. We're gonna have a, a very modest turn. We start off with something crystal girl. Crystal Gold effect activates. Allowing us to add a wing dragon. No, I'll, I'm mean that. Allowing us to add a guardian slam at the e end phase. Now we tribute Crystal Gold for Wing Karuba. Because these two will do a little combo, if you know what I mean. You'll see it later, maybe in the video. Uh, no, just. They'll, they'll never get disconnected. I don't want you disconnecting on me, bro. I right, I activate true sun, true sun god. This lets me choose any wing dragon of all card to my hand, and I will grab the wing dragon of our spear god and end my turn. Now we sit here and wait for what our opponent is about to do. But as you would, how are your guys' days doing? Let's just type in the comments below. Like, I'll probably read them because there's probably gonna be nothing in the comments. And I, excuse me for all my fucking hiccuping. I don't know why. It's just. Damn, me playing with a 60 card deck. Now, what will our opponent choose to do? Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and special summon from your hand. I should have used Ghost Girl. Ghost is the spooky dog. What? Wait, what? Um, no, no. I don't fully know when to use Ghost or not. Is he, is he, no, no, he's playing the structure there. Counter strike, come on, give it uh. all. You come uh. on, baby. Let me just say, fake in this night, not so. Besides, do all of it. Okay, let me tell you what the win objective is for this deck. It's pretty simple. It's called B down the life points. Oh. Uh, that's okay. Come on, do your damage. Come on. Now, goodbye and come back. He's coming back. Now. I, I let that hit because now I wanted to act to go activate Guardian. I wanted to activate Guardian Smart. Meant to battle damage, he is level now on to Athena. And he's Cyber Dragon Con attack because of Chu Sun Guard. That's 
you. Of course. Bend your turn, you can't attack with the other one. God won't allow you. Like, I, I know you're really trying to find me. You realize I'm just going to win. Now, do I have game? Do I have game? Because I might have game. That is, I got two balls, I got two pendulum balls. What did he say? Hey. Oh, oh, hey. Now I activate Crystal Girl's effect. She has to summon herself onto the field if there's a water monster on the field. Now I summon Crystal Girl. And what I meant by Link Karibo coming back, Crystal Girl can now activate her effect, allowing Link Karibo to chain off of that to tribute Crystal Girl one more time and summon itself into the field. The players, the players. Now, do I have game? I might have game. Oh. Now, I, I transform my guardian slime into a god, calling forth Egyptian god slime. Guardian Slime is sent to to the graveyard. I can now activate his effect, which allows me to grab anyway, which, no, no, which allows me to grab a heart that specifically misses the Wind Dragon of Rock. So that's more or less my whole thing. I will grab Ancient Shit. It's a, like an art of the Well, one turn kill. Yeah, uh, OTK? OTK. A third turn kill. I grab the Wind Dragon of Ra. Now I. I. Banish Ancient Chant. I'm banishing Ancient Chant to, get, to let my Wind Dragon of Ra gain the attack points of the monster I attributed for, which is gonna be God Slime. Giving the Wind Dragon of Raw 3000 attack as a base. Now, activating the Dream Dragon of Raw's effect, I'm able to give my life points as fuel for his next attack, and I'm not done. I activate Blaze Cannon, making whatever you do to me useless. There's no any in the gate, so I'll just step this in front of him. And we're gonna throw away Link Rip into the graveyard once again. And this is the true power of the Wing Dragon of Raw. And just to be extra, I'll throw away Glink Karibo to gain more attack to make sure you're dead. Now, go to the shadow. Go! And that's the first duel of the day, and we come out with a dark. Ooh, and we rank off of this too. Amazing. Now there's still more things the Winged Dragon of Rock can do. You've only seen a fraction of his power. Honestly, I kind of hope I run into sprites. Um, what's that? Uh, what's it? That really meta deck that's popular, like T elements. Oh, 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 those are big meta cards. Now, next door. This duel should be different. We're up against Fu Eni. Fu Eni this time. Synchro. No, 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 no. Wait, I go signal first. They they probably chose to go first. Oh wow, we're just waiting to get in this fucking shadow game. If you're ever wondering why my Com uh, my camera is so blurry and you can barely see anything. That's because I, I did that on purpose. It, it's to add the mystery. It, it's to add mystery. And one of these days I'm gonna do a reveal of that and an actual picture of it. But besides that, the, our opponent's playing black ones. Huh. He uses Blackwing Sa Simon, but Simon the 
Sam the fu- the motherfucking yeah. He used that card to get that card. Okay. Hmm. This is a very good looking hand. If I don't get Ash Blossom, this is an amazing hand. Ooh. Don't sit any more cards. Don't put any more back, bro. Two is just the perfect number. Like it's even an even number. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might ruin you if you bring out three monsters on the field. I could really if you bring out four, that would be more. Welcome. But now uh, we sit here as our opponent decides what to do in it and then next time. And I cook it aside. Oh yeah. Hmm. I don't know if anyone will see this video. I guess they have to put more on different places. Yeah. I'm gonna tell the video Cat Boy playing with flame and chicken. Cat Boy plays with flame and chicken. Oh, he's going to a synchro summon and he's gonna bring out Blackwing of Full Armored Mass already! <laughs> oh my god, what he already summoned this card. Wow, okay, he must have gotten a really good hand. I was not expecting that, not so soon. On the first turn, we got this thing out. Well, I'm sorry to inform you that that monster. It might be coming. It just might. First, we are going to drop our golden ball on our opponent's hand by throwing away his cards you worked for. One, two, three! Oh god! And introduce yourself to the sphere mode. Cool. I now activate Twin Twister to get rid of that back row he got there by discarding my Guardian Slime. It's gonna help me better on Ash Blossom. We get rid of. We get rid of you too. What does he have? Maxi. Could brain control bring this card back to me? Okay, anyways, never mind. That, that's not important. Guardian Slime's effect activates. Allowing me to grab. The true sun god. Hmm. I could just. I could just. I activate Millennium Revelation. I attribute. The, no, I throw away the Wind Dragon of Rod to grab a monster reborn. I pull my monster reborn. Ooh, ooh. Activate the true sun god. Using the true sun god's effect to upgrade. Sun god unification. If I. Now I activate Millennium Revelation secondary effect. Allowing me to. What well, we've seen in this spiel, I'm not gonna. Wait, have I shown you guys this? Wait, anyways, I'll say it again. Allowing me to summon the Wing Dragon of Bar, who is not normally not been not able to be blah, who is normally not able to be special summoned. That allows such a tongue twister. Summon the Wing Dragon of Bar. Now I I have options. Well I grabbed this card, so I might as well do this play. I activate the true sun god. Letting me Throw away one of my oh no no. Let me throw away one of my immortal phoenixes to the graveyard, and also discarding the wind dragon around the field. 
doing those things, I am able to summon the winged dragon of our mortal phoenix out on the field. We are looking pretty good with this turn, I can't kill him right now. I'm just gonna attack my air again, in my turn. Come forth, the mortal phoenix. Another gun. Oh, I gave him two points. It should be okay. Now we punch an egg for good damage. I shouldn't have said that, but we end. I might as well grab the egg I threw away. I now grab the egg I threw away into the graveyard to summon the winged dragon of Ross Fremont yet again. Oh, actually, oh, I gave him a lot of cards though. Damn. Back in the day before True Sun God came up, you had barely special summoned the Winged Dragon. And now you're just special summoning all three of his forms. Well, uh, the challenge goal, well, the video goal has been completed. I have now shown you all three transformations of the Winged Dragon. Now, with me showing you the true Winged Dragon of Ross's true power, I should effortlessly be able to win this duel. Singer a lot. Ah, I should have just kept Toggle off so he doesn't know what I'm playing. He activates Black Wings effect with Black Wing part of the em 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 Emperor. No, Emperor. Okay, he's back again. I'll, I'll, I'll let you cook, don't worry. You, you can, you can cook. Fu, I think it's Fu. Fu, yeah. Fu Ene. Fu Ene. He, he definitely has a play. He has four cards. No, he has five. He's just thinking about what he wants to do. He has so many options to his hand. Oh, look at Sengen's dumbass. I was so bewildered by looking at his binoculars. Just so one day I clicked on little Sengen's dumbass. And I stopped. Oh, you didn't read any of my cards. You didn't read a single one of them. Maybe you would have won the stool if you read your cards a little bit more, but even if you had, the Winged Dragon of Rose is too powerful. Now, I am deathly afraid of a uh, Ash Blossom, so I'm not gonna go into it. Oh, oh, dearest me! Well, goodbye. Fuck. I'm in a, a bad spot. He was gonna beat me down, but then he realized he could attack. Okay, bigger monster. Is it gonna be a copy of this? Oh, okay, now it's just a token. Are you gonna... What is he doing? Is he gonna bring out a level... Oh no... Wait... What are the requirements for this card? One black from Tuna and one black... Oh, he could... He could! What does he do? What does he do? Oh, he's ending his turn! God, I'm gonna need the meanest top deck right now. There's a lot of cards that could screw me if I pull them right now, but hopefully I draw the out. I drew my out if he doesn't have Ash Blossom. Ho hopefully he doesn't have Ash Blossom. We activate the true Sun God. Another time. Please don't have Ash Blossom. Please don't have Ash Okay, Maxi. Okay, I won the door. Your fate is already sealed. It doesn't matter what you do in this instant right now. The winged dragon will come, and he is hungry. I, wait, should I do the chant? Nah. I activate Millennium Revelation. We've seen this card in action a lot of times in this duel. 
I'm not even gonna say what it does. We all know by now. I get rid of the wing dragon. I'm saying what it says now. Well, anyways, goodbye, Ra. Hello, Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn. It, I'll let him draw as many bugs as he likes. We now send away the Millennium Revelation. And we're gonna see the same trick I did before. Now, we call upon the full wrath, full wrath of a god! I summon the, the winged dragon of Ra. Oh, I can summon uh, both of them. I've done this. I, uh. Well, anyways, he comes on the field. We throw away the winged dragon of Ra to call upon the true god. Oh. What did he. What, what did he pull? Oh no. Wait, okay. They're getting the effect. Oh, okay, I'm chilling. I, I got I got quiet for a second. <laughs> oh, I'm even hiccuping now. That's how afraid I got. No! Okay, hopefully I can use this one. It's once per turn. Wait, no, it's fine. I can use the other one. I should please let me use the other one. Please let me use the other one. Please let me, it's once per turn. Okay, it's not so. Okay, I got scared for a minute. But anyways, uh, we throw away another. Uh, he couldn't stop it. I used to think there would be no benefit in having two sun gods out, true sun gods out. But yeah, there is. Well, I was right. He couldn't stop anything I had for him. The wing, the true sun god approaches. The immortal phoenix. Now. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I honestly had an amazing time playing. If you have any deck suggestions you'd want me to play, I could play them. But, um, leave your comments below. Five subscribers, my, uh, five subscriber, a goal. And uh, if you are watching the video, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you being here. Well, Let's get rid of this opponent. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Boom.